This is one in a series of demos that depict the kinds of business solutions enabled by Longhorn Technologies across a variety of industries. Uh, this particular demo focuses on commercial real estate scenarios and specifically the work being done by a startup named RE3W. RE3W's mission is to connect all the participants in the commercial real estate industry so that they can streamline and accelerate transactions all the way from origination through closing. RE3W is an early stage company but has already attracted investments from major commercial real estate players including the First American Corporation. This demo also highlights the roles of other commercial real estate participants like GMAC Commercial Mortgage and Grubb and Ellis. Connecting all those stakeholders is complex and Longhorn helps with some enabling technologies. You'll see a new kind of process centric application that provides a great user experience by coordinating the information flow and services from a variety of organizations, all without requiring a common hosting location or private network. From an architectural perspective, this demo emphasizes Avalon, Indigo, and Fundamentals. Avalon for the really productive visualizations you'll see, and then Indigo for a secure, reliable, transacted collaboration among the stakeholders, and then Fundamentals for deploying software easily at any point in the business process. We'll also touch on WinFS for common storage of contacts and related documents. Let's start by logging in as Janice Galvin and let's assume that she's a commercial real estate broker that has been asked by an investor to find a standalone location for a new drugstore. The investor's email to Janice includes an attachment with the description of a property that he's been considering for this drugstore location. Now, one of the things that Longhorn does is blur the distinction between an application and a document. In this case, the attachment is a full application that you saw deployed with ClickOnce installation. We're seeing that the installation of a full featured client is now just as easy as going to a web page, and that's due to the application model that's part of Avalon and some of the uh, secure execution improvements in fundamentals. Here we're using Longhorn's new identity system to uh, attach an information card using one of several profiles to opt in to additional RE3W services that the client software can provide. So rather than having a static snapshot of the property information, we have a fully capable client now that provides a number of additional services that help me both visualize and collaborate over the prospective property. For example, Janice as the local broker that knows the area better may want to search the current region to identify corner locations that are better suited for a standalone drugstore. When we search the current region we start to see what's possible when you combine the presentation power of Avalon with the reliable messaging of Indigo. In this case we start out with a mappoint.net uh, map of the general region and we want to supplement that map with third-party data sources. So in our scenario, it's important to know where the other drug stores are as well as where the grocery stores are since those are good indicators for uh, ideal locations for the new drug store. As we add existing drug store and grocery store locations to the map, it gets pretty dense. Now, what you typically do is have to zoom in and out in kind of a chunky basis, but here you're actually able to leverage Avalon's vector graphics to provide something as simple as a magnifying glass to pass over any region of the map to get additional detail. So let's add to the map current traffic counts as a way of identifying the busiest corner locations for our standalone drugstore. So now we've got a color-coded map that shows in red the hottest spots in terms of current traffic. Let's use the magnifying glass again to place a push pin at one of the busiest corners. But in addition to current traffic, we also want to look at the growth rates and where the future traffic is going to be. So let's switch to the areas with the highest growth rate and also place push pins there. So far we've seen how Avalon's vector graphics and transparent overlays really make it easier to visualize analytical information. We've been able to draw from a variety of data sources and easily identify the best corner locations. We know the area well, but what if we want to see the actual locations themselves? What can software do in that case? Well, that's where a component from a startup named Keyhole comes in. They provide uh, software that makes it easy to navigate both satellite and aerial imagery. The Keyhole software is deployed on demand. 
Then it sets the bar for what we should expect from client software. Here we're going to start with the matpoint.net overlay, but then go into a 3D uh, flyover using both satellite and aerial imagery that gives us kind of a fluid exploration of the prospective locations that we had identified. This first one was the high traffic area, but is built out. It's the South Coast Plaza. So let's go to the second one that was in the outlying area. This was the high traffic growth area, uh, but we don't quite recognize the neighborhood. But given that we've got this fluid exploration capability, we can pan and see that there is the neighborhood that we recognize in the upper right corner there. The thing that had thrown us off was that the satellite image isn't quite up to date with the most recent construction. So what we can do is use Indigo's reliable messaging to order on demand an updated aerial photo from a company down in Southern California called Airviews. While we're waiting for the photo to be delivered, we can go ahead and take a look at that third location that we put a push pin in. This was an outlying area also that was high growth. And uh, as we get to that area, we get a notification from Airviews that they have the photo available from their existing library. Here's an example of the way you might use Indigo's client-side activation and WinFS metadata to have our view correspond to the planes view at the time the picture was taken so that we can superimpose an updated aerial image right on top of the satellite image. Using the GPS location and camera angle associated with the photo, we can actually superimpose the parcel boundaries as we hover over different parcels that we're interested in. When we click on the one that uh, we identified, we can actually bring up the county parcel map and owner information for that parcel. So now that we've assembled all this great information related to the property, we'd like to save it and share it. That's where WinFS comes in. So rather than forcing the end user to create physical folders as a way to organize all of the data that she's assembled on this property, the application can use WinFS metadata to establish the appropriate links and correlations among the documents. So when it comes time to save the information and share it, all that the broker needs to do is give it a name of Siegel Hill property and the related information is all bundled in one logical package even though there's no corresponding physical folder to manage. In addition, the WinFS contact store unifies all the different address books that previously had been stored in separate applications so that when it comes time to share the information, we can simply use the st standard Longhorn contact picker dialog to specify the people that we're sharing with. Notice the lock next to Scott's name. That indicates that he's a verified identity and that the Longhorn identity system has used the WinFS contact store to cache his public key credentials for secure communications with him. This application also uses DRM to set a time limit on the information that she's sharing. Now because this is a concept demo, the investor responds immediately. Here she gets an email from Scott saying that he wants to move forward with the property and asks her to secure financing and determine which lenders might be best. Here's a forward-looking view on how that process might be different on Longhorn. Historically, any time you wanted to automate a process that spans multiple parties, the first step was to agree on some centralized uh, server or system that hosted the shared data. What if instead of pushing your confidential data to third-party servers, you're able to ha actually have their application programs come and run locally on your PC looking at locally stored data? For example, your broker and prospective lenders don't really care about your prior three home addresses. What they do care about is getting an accurate credit report for an identity that they know is actually you. Here the contact picker is displaying a group of preferred lenders that we've easily defined using WinFS. So here we're seeing software applications in easily installed by the prospective lenders that can assemble your credit report, your financial history, information about the property you're considering all using Indigo secure reliable messaging and some of the fundamental improvements in deploying software securely. So now we're pre-qualified for a loan subject to some conditions and the first step in the acquisition process is to have all parties involved sign a confidentiality agreement. In this case we're going to digitally sign that agreement just by typing our name. Here we've got buyers, sellers, brokers, accountants, lawyers all collaborating peer-to-peer 
with great visibility in the status of all the documents involved. As the investor moves forward with the acquisition, all of the downstream processes like opening escrow, ordering title reports, getting surveys done, uh, all of that will be initiated automatically from the software using uh, web services on Indigo to communicate those requests. As we click to start the acquisition, escrow is opened automatically. We also get visibility into the expected dates on all the other steps in the process, which is particularly valuable for time-sensitive financing and closing. So throughout this demo scenario we just went through, you saw Longhorn helping RE3W to provide a number of benefits. You saw better access to deal flow with improved deployment and notifications among the stakeholders. Faster due diligence and closings by helping people collaborate around some structured information while also drawing from a variety of services that help them make their decisions. Reduced operational costs ranging from the administrivia of document exchange and signing all the way through kind of structured submission of loan application and approvals. Better insight both into customer needs and market information, but also good visibility into the process itself. And finally, improved information control, both in the way that you store and organize stuff and in the way that you uh, share it and protect it with rights management. More generally, we saw the way that Avalon, Indigo, WinFS, and Fundamentals combined to make it easier to deliver a new class of business application that supports the sometimes ad hoc relationships among people in a variety of different organizations. We saw actionable visualizations where instead of a static snapshot of information, we've actually got the tools to collaborate and analyze it, uh, and draw conclusions from data. Then we saw software that can be deployed at any point in a business process and can be used both online and offline. My name's Carter Maslin, and I want you to be a Longhorn Evangelist, so don't hesitate to contact me. Have fun.